Hey, mother. Good morning. It is Monday morning. Okay, my hair is wet. I have never been, whoa, never been on camera with wet hair, but it's Mask Monday. I was gonna wear this, but since this is Vlogmas, I figure let's be festive, right? Today for Mask Monday, I decided, since I just opened this, I this was a boxy charm, right? You're probably paying closer attention than I am. This is the Cela by Celine Tadrisi Mask de Glossier Clay Mask. And this is that one that I said is from Canada and it has like the glacial oceanic clay in it. Source unique to the British Columbia coast of Canada. Exfoliates and deep cleanses. I just got out of the shower and I looked in the mirror, I'm like, God, my skin actually looks really nice today. So do I need a mask today? Probably not. Am I gonna do a mask today? Yes, because it's Mask Monday. All right, let's get my hair out of my face. And today in Mask Monday, we're also gonna review some of the things I bought on Black Friday. I was so good. I didn't go too crazy. I, I hardly got anything. I was so good. You'd be so proud of me because, you know, I'm gonna start using all my makeup up and you will see these, at least two or three of these things you will see during this vlogmas because they're holiday themed. So yeah. So let's get my mask on first because whoop. And I got my little, my little light up mirror. Isn't this pretty? Hold on. Let me turn the light off. So it doesn't look weird or does it look cool on camera? I don't know. Let's see. Does it look cool on camera? Oh, it kind of does. So this is my little light up mirror. It has just two AA batteries in it. I actually got this at home goods. I love the bling on here. I think it's so cool. I think they also had it in pink. Anyway. Oh, hi. I'm Mayor. Welcome. If you're new, I have a lot of new people. I'm so excited. You guys made my weekend. I can't believe all the comments. I try to answer every single comment. It's so exciting. I'm going to talk to you while I get this mask on, okay? Because we got things to do. Oh, I got to take the little peely thing off. It's been so fun all weekend. I've been really busy, but it's been really fun interacting with everyone and talking to everyone. Oh my God, hearing all your cake flavors and watching the collab. Doesn't seem to have any scent. So welcome everyone who's new and hello to all my people who have been with me for a little bit. If you're new to Mask Monday, this is where we do a mask it's a good way to start the week. I'm going to keep this out of my hairline. Oh, this little thing, this is a comedic, C-O-M-E-D-I-X. There's two different sides to it. The smooth side, it's like a little silicone, silicon, silicone, con applicator. I love this because you know what I hate? It kept me from doing clay masks for a long time. I hate it all over my hands. I just, I hate it. I don't know. Is it just me? I just hate it. It's such a mess. And I love this because you can really get in like the corners like this. I'm all over the place. Thank you to all the new subs. YouTube seems to be like really having fun with unsubbing people. I'll have people sub and then all of a sudden they disappear. And I want to make sure if you're in the giveaway that you have a chance to win it. So occasionally check your subscriptions because I'm just noticing YouTube unsubscribing people and why and how they're doing it which I did not know or else I would have mentioned it in my video. I wish I would have known because I would have mentioned it, but it's really good to know. And now I'm checking my subscriptions because I'm noticing, you know, there's people I would watch and I'm like, why am I not seeing this? Are they not uploading? You know, you want to make sure you're still subscribed to people. Mm -hmm. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I love Alexa when I'm recording. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. Feels really good. It's very cooling. This will be interesting because those who know me know I am blind. I am blind without my glasses and here they are and I'm not putting them on over clay mask. So if I'm like this the whole time and I look like Mr. Magoo, I'm showing my age. Comment below if you know who Mr. Magoo is. <laughs> showing my age. Our Sela mask is on. This can stay on 20 to 25 minutes. Mild tingling can be felt due to the osmotic action of the clay. Let's get into what I bought because I have 20 minutes and I have a few things to go through here. So I went on, I know I went on more than three sales. I think I'm still waiting on a few things to come, but I did go on Ulta because what I did, now this is a tip for next year. If you have an Ulta card, if you do the Ulta points, trust me, resist the urge to spend them all during the year. Save up your Ulta points and then go crazy on Black Friday. 
I had $181 worth of Ulta points. Go me, go me. $181 worth of Ulta points, which was so cool because Black Friday rolled around. I'm like, I have $181 to spend and not have to pay for anything. Tomorrow I am doing Tea Tuesday, so come back for that. I'm gonna give you a little sneak preview of tomorrow. Ta da da! Look what I got. I got the um hip dot. Tapacho! Tapacho! I got this set. I did the pre-order and I got this long, long ago. It was supposed to ship out late November. And of course, with everything going on and all the craziness, look, glitters. The glitters will be fun, fun for Christmas though. And there's, there are these really, I can't get these out right now, gorgeous reds in here. I'm not going to show you the palette. You got to come back tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to do Tea Tuesday. I'm going to sample some of my tea from my BoxyCharm, the bottom teas that I like. And we're going to sip some tea and we're going to talk about stuff in general. I do have a topic to discuss while we also look at this. How much is really enough? I know you want to hear my thoughts on that, especially after my BoxyCharm and my unboxing reviews. So let's start with what I got. Again, how much is really enough? And this was why, you know, I really because kind of was on a pretty low buy for Black Friday. I was like, let's not go crazy. But the one thing that I did nab because of, and keep in mind, like I said, this was all with my points. I really spent no money on this. I just used my points. And yes, I know I spent the money because I spent money getting the points. And believe me, I think about that every time. Oh, my other tip is when when you do Ulta, I only buy things when they go on three times or five times the points. And they had a special day that was that were for diamond, platinum, whatever. I'm the highest level there is. They, they're like, we love you. You spend too much. All the way through 2022, I think I'm at like diamond level or whatever the highest thing is. So they had a special day where it was like, whatever you buy, you get 10 times the points. So I bought a couple of things then that kicked me up over $180. And I did buy things I need. I get um, Pacifica chewable vitamins from them. So I'm not buying things that I'm not gonna use and I'm not buying things I get in boxy charms and things. So first, I always wanted to try this. This is the Hula Girl by Philosophy. It's a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I like this because I can use it as a bubble bath. I can take it in the shower. This is good for 30 months. Uh, yeah, because I have so many that I have to use up. So I am not gonna open this and smell it. I've been wanting to try this one. I will let you know when I try it. I'm finishing up a lot of things. Another thing at the end of this month, come back because I have been saving a basket since I want to say July or August of products that I've used all year. And it's like, I'm going to do a products I've used up when I buy it again. A lot of skincare, a lot of bath products and some candles. So this is next a body shop spa of the world, Adriatic Peony Body Wash, relaxing bath and shower cream. This sounded so good. And of course it says 100% vegetarian, forever against animal testing, good for 12 months. I'm going to be using this one soon. This one I did open. Oh my God, I love peonies. They remind me of my mom. My mom, my whole life growing up had peonies. It's just like a happy thing for me. I have peony candles, I have peony body wash, hand soap, cleaner, air freshener, dish soap. I will be probably trying this one sooner. It's a little bit smaller. I'll probably go through it pretty fast. I had to, I had to because I'm gonna wear these. And since I had points, I had to pay for it. I got the Rudolph mallet. I wasn't going to get the Rudolph ColourPop. ColourPop got me. I swear, I got a bunch of ColourPop stuff. I'm not going to swatch because we don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to show it to you. It's really cute. It's, it's kind of neutral, but I kind of like it. I like the deeper tones. This row here, it is really, really pretty. Some of it's a little neutral, but this is a neutral that I like because it's got these deep tones in it. This to me is a great palette. I love the, the cover. It's kind of... It's got this little texture to it. The box does, I love all the packaging. I mean, who doesn't love Rudolph, right? So Rudolph, I got these. I can't believe I bought this. This is Angelica Nyquist's fault. I bought a freaking Morphe palette. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it, I used my points. Don't judge, don't judge me. I got the Mickey Morphe palette. Now, I would not have bought this had Angelica Nyquist not brought up some really great points about this. And I gotta say, I kinda love it. I haven't tried it yet, but I kind of love it. I mean, it's got all my favorites in it. I love yellow, I love red, and look at all these. If you look at this, it's it's very goth. It's Mickey goth. And then you do this and you're like, oh my God, it's really Mickey goth. This is like gothmas right here. And then we got the gold. So I am going to do like a red gold. I'm not gonna do a Mickey themed because 
Do I look like I'm a Mickey themed person? Not so much. I don't dislike Mickey. I like Disney. I like all that. I like, I mostly like the Disney villains. Could you guess? But Angelica Nyquist was talking about, she, she was saying she doesn't really do Morphe either, but she's like, you know, I really like this palette. You could get a lot of use out of this and even using it with other palettes, it's just really good. So I thought, well, it's, I'm using my points and it was on sale too. Now, I don't remember the prices of everything, so I can't tell you, I'd have to go look it up. But you know, it was, everything was like 50% off Black Friday and I used points, so I got a deal. Another palette I never ever was going to buy, but with the app only and Diamond and Platinum members or whatever, you got a 40% or 50% off deal on the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox, which again, another neutrally palette, but I really like, like the shimmery shades in here. And I'm trying to challenge myself in the new year. I'm gonna have a challenge every month. I'm gonna challenge myself to do more neutral looks. So it's gonna be fun. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for all that because if you know me, you know I'm not a neutral person, but my new year's resolution with makeup is to do more neutrals. A lot of people go, my new year's resolution is to do more color, mine is more neutrals. And then to go with that, I got the ColourPop Color Stick in Hypnotic Metallic, which I will use a lot. I really like this. Oh my God, I will use this so much. Look at that. It's this really amazing gunmetal. I cannot wait to use this. I'm really excited to use this. This will look good with the Mickey palette. It'll look good with that. And it will look good with something I got from ColourPop that I'll show you in a second. This is the last thing I got from Ulta online. I really wanted this and it was on sale. It was 50% off and points. So I got the Juvia's Place. I live, I love ice, which is beautiful. I wanted this so bad and I'm like, I can't, I can't. I have too many blue palettes, blah, blah, blah. But I really wanted this. Look at this beauty. Isn't that gorge? Look at her. And I love Juvia's Place. This is also good for 24 months. It does have like this weird pressed glitter in here, but it's really pretty. But I love that it has like a periwinkle. It doesn't have a dark blue. They're all like lighter blues, but I am going to be doing an Ice Queen look this month. I know you're gonna wanna see the Ice Queen look. I also got a loose highlighter, which it's weird. It's a finely milled multifunctional glow powder make any look pop like a royalty dab blend in glow it's really gold uh i may gift this i may this may be in a giveaway i might have to put this in a giveaway i like it but i have a lot of highlighters this shade it is sealed and i accidentally ripped the bottom of the box a little bit i'm gonna have to tape her this is good for 24 months so i may gift this i may put it in a giveaway i mostly wanted this in the set it came with it i probably won't use this i am definitely using this next let me do this first i went on ColourPop, and i can't believe i bought this I have never seen The Mandalorian. I don't, because I just, I don't pay for all these extra channels, but I really, really liked these shades, especially this like weird multi-chrome in the middle, Clan of Two. Oh my God. And I wasn't gonna buy it when it came out, but it went on sale. I'm really interested in trying. It's weird, cause it's like neutrals, but it's like grungy neutrals. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. Alexa, how much time do I have left on my timer? Leslie, I got, and this was another thing. I wasn't going to buy it, but I got the Play-Doh palette. Doesn't smell like Play-Doh though. Disappointing. Vegan, animal test free, paraben free, talc free, mineral oil, bleh, mineral oil free, and 12 months. Bring home imagination with Hip Dot X Play-Doh's 12-piece eyeshadow palette designed to create the most unique, playful, and colorful eye looks with satin, matte, and shimmer sh finishes, which I like. It's got all three. The color selection ranges with vibrant pastels and light nude tones to create the most versatile eye looks. I like the little mirror too. It's really cute. What I think I want to do with this is play with this in neutrals. Let me know below if you want to see this. Some of you who are like a little afraid of color and I know I have a lot of new people who are like bright colors scare me. I'm in my 50s or 60s or whatever. Uh, don't be afraid of color. I love color. Color is not the enemy. Color is your friend. I think like these will be really nice spring colors. So I'm probably going to keep this put away and I'm probably going to save this for the spring. <gasps> my alarm's going off. That was a fast that was really fast. I'm gonna go rinse this and I will be right back. Oh, 
I am back and my skin feels good. Let's put the glasses on so I can see. It feels really clean. My skin is like squeaky clean. It's like very smooth, definitely not dry. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I like it, I will use it again. And you know, again, my uh, friends who have been watching me for a little bit here, you know, I'm not a huge fan of clay masks and charcoal masks because I have very, very normal skin. I don't have a lot of oil. I have like literally no extra oil in my skin usually. Sela Glacier Mask, love it, love it, love it. We'll definitely use again. If you got this in your boxy and you're kind of like, I don't know, I might gift it, I might give it away. Why is the top not closing all the way? Something's weird. Okay, that's odd. The top doesn't want to close all the way, see? I wonder why that's happening. It's kind of strange and concerning. Ooh, let me know if you have this problem. The top won't snap closed. I think I'm gonna have to rinse it. See how the mask got in there and now it won't close all the way. Be careful if you use this, make sure you rinse this out, unscrew it, rinse this out. So I'm gonna rinse that off camera and see if I can get it to snap closed. I hope I can because I don't want it to dry out. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite thing that I bought I can't hold it all. <laughs> What's your favorite thing that I bought on my Black Friday buys? And I also got the two. I am a big fan of good smell in bath products, as you might have guessed with all my candle stuff and everything. So let me know what your favorite thing is and what you're looking forward to me doing looks with. Some of these you might not see for a while. My neutrals are for my New Year's resolutions. I will be starting that in January. I'm gonna be doing my dreaded neutral looks and we're gonna do neutrals with pops of color. This you will be seeing this month. Mandalorian's probably gonna be in January or February, probably January. I am definitely going to be doing these very soon. I am dying to do this. Ever since I saw the reveal of this, I was like, ugh. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. And that's it for today for Mass Monday. Come back tomorrow for Tea Tuesday. And we are going to open this baby up, talk some tea about products and subscription boxes and sales and consumerism and all that. And we're gonna look at this box. Get ready with me, have some tea. Thank you for joining me for Vlogmas. I am loving this. I just can't wait to record every day and edit. I'm having so much fun. Also this week we have, my husband and I will be sampling marshmallow advent calendar day four, five, six, and seven. So that will be coming this week. The candle making will be coming this week. I promise, I am so excited to do it. I have everything laid out. By the way, I have two giveaways going right now. I have the Glam Light Cake Palette and other indie makeup goodies box. I will be drawing for that on Friday, so make sure you watch that. I will put a card right here somewhere. Saturday, I will be doing the drawing for our holiday gift exchange for our unboxing group. So go watch that video as well. That will be at the end of this video. There are a lot more rules with that one. My Glam Light one, make sure you read the rules too. There is something you have to do. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you giving me your time and attention. I hope you liked this. If you get the Sela mask and you try it, let me know what you think. I very much like it. And before this dries out more, I'm gonna go rinse this baby off and see if I can get her to close because I think it's just that it dried in there so it won't close but we don't want to ruin this mask I really like it don't want it to dry out I'm out of here I will see you tomorrow for tea Tuesday that's going to be a new thing on my channel we have new Monday and Tuesday regular uploads coming every week along with some other things I'm starting a whole new upload schedule kicking it off with vlogmas and going into next year and beyond thank you for watching thank you for subscribing I will see you in the next one have an awesome Monday See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye. Psst. I rinsed it out and I got it to close. Make sure you rinse this out. It will snap back closed.